So here I am with my very first Majorette tune-ups that uh, are finally available here in Adelaide after much whinging to uh, Majorette suppliers in Australia, Majorette Australasia. But, uh, it wasn't their fault. Their stockers here are a bit slow. But, um, so I'm going to crack this one open. Just uh, stay tuned towards the end of the video there. I'm going to have a surprise unboxing for you. So let's have a look and see what we got here. So let's give it a crack. So a bit of a mystery. I don't know what, what I'm going to get out of this one. I can tell with the, uh, the Hot Wheels uh, mystery bags, mystery cars. I know what they're going to be, but Majorette, got no idea. So let's have a look. Let's uh, start by opening the screw. Somehow. Let's get that off of there. Oop, there we go. Alright, bits and pieces in there. Don't know what happened to my screw. There it is. Alright, number one we got the major key tag. Which, uh, We'll slide out of there. There we go. Oh, and what have we got? I'd say it's the Megane Trophy Racer. Um, as you can see here, it's in the cool category. Let's uh, open her up and have a look. Look at that. That is a nice little car, that one. It's, uh, I do like the colouring. It's beautiful. Back door will open. Just like that. There you go. That is a nice car. I do like it. Not a bad one for the first ever uh, tune ups that I bought. Okay. By the way, Major Red are not a sponsor. Although, you know, wouldn't mind it. So, there we can see it in the cool, cool range there. Some nice cars in that. I thought it might be a bit fortunate, but very rare if I actually got a ultra rare on my first go, but never mind. I am happy with this uh, trophy racer, Renault Megane. So, let's just move that back a bit. What else do we have in the box here? Let's get the boxes open. Let's, um, so, we have a rally kit for them. And if I can just get the other side open. All right, here we go. Oop, we've got some tyres. And some chrome stickers looks very very fancy so let's see if we can do a tune up now I'd say we just clip on the top there like that that's uh Quite spectacular now. That's that just adds to it. Well, it was meant to add to it. And then we have some tyres, which I don't know whether I should have put them on first or or not. All right, beautiful deep dish tyres there. Uh, looks quite nice. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Let's put the other ones on. Struggling, struggling. Sorry about this camera shake there. I just bumped it a bit. Let's get the other one on. Oh, did it again. Here 
There we go. Needs a bit of a wheel alignment. Get those tyres on properly. There. That's nice. Look at that. Ready for a, a bit of rallying. Yeah. Now, I don't know about putting the stickers on. That may, may take away from the actual model itself. But anyway, so we've got a nice display case for it. Um, doesn't fit in the display case anymore. But never mind. You can sit on top like that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, I did say I was going to have a bit of a surprise unboxing here. I, I wasn't planning on buying another car today, but I couldn't resist it. And it was down there with all the uh, the other majorette stuff. So there it is. It is a nice little Celica. Um, haven't seen the boxed majorettes before. But, um, how good's this car? I already have one of these just in a standard street livery. Ready for uh, being out on the road. But now, look at that. There is a well presented Celica GT Coupe. And as always with Majorette stuff, they're always really well finished. Um, like we saw before, opening doors. And ready to go. These were very common on the road in Australia back in the day. But, um, don't see too many of them around anymore. Still, a very nice, nice model. So, there we have it. We have the Celica Coupe. And... My very first, bit, my very first Majorette's Tuner. Let us know what you think, and uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Give it a like and a subscribe if you uh, if you wish. But, um, we'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.